Come on, if you know there is a king yes, inside of you, yes, it's a good place to put your hands together, church. Come on, Come on let Come the on. king inside of you speak hey. to the king sitting by your neighbor. Hey. I know we have the kings in church, but you are a king too. It's not just for Kutokba and Adin, but you are a king. Can you just give God praise that there's a king sitting inside of me? If this is your word this Sunday morning. Clap your hands, church. Give God praise. Woo. Take it off. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. 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 Woo, there is a king. There is a king. We'll do that song again and uh, I will lead it. <laughs> I will lead the song. <laughs> I like the part of it. Is there a king? So why do you speak? Speak with such a low self. Is there a king? Is there no king in you? Thank you, Jesus. Well, why do you speak? Speak with such long oh, I see. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, there's a king inside of you. One more time, there's a king inside of you. That was easy for Togba and Adim because they are kings. But just say somebody, there's, there's a king inside of you. There's a king inside. Amen. Happy birthday to the incredible, incredulous Michael from the media team. Thank you very much for all you do. Michael will love you. You're a fantastic, outstanding young man. Thank you for your life. Happy birthday to Carol. Um, Caro's birthday was last week too. Thank you very much, Caro, for all you do. God bless you, Caro. Thank God for your life. Let's keep Brother Mandela in our prayers as his brother boarded the sheep of Zion and set the sail in the fog of the morning dew to a destination he long waited, leaving us waving from the shores as we gain them in glory. Yeah. So keep him in your prayers. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> I said, keep Brother Mandela in your prayers. His brother boarded the sheep of Zion to set the sail in the fog of the morning dew in a destination he long waited for, leaving us waving from the shores as we gained him in glory. Amen. And in another dimension, midweek service has resumed. Yeah, midweek service is really So the governor of our state um, has approved midweek service. And if you know our midweek service is very, very interactive. So I've missed that interactive, not just watching online. So you remember those kind of questions? Why do they do Reboche? Who remembers that question on midweek service? <laughs> All right, so come for midweek service. And even when we are out of the woods, please keep... I, I just think we should man maintain the whole hygiene of washing your hands whether there's corona or there's no corona do you understand just maintain that whole um system okay and then even when not if when we are out of the woods we'll still maintain two services here so even if they say okay nigeria lagos is corona free i'm not going to jump into one service jamming everybody together i'm going to maintain two services but you know you will not have to log in anyone can come for any of the services, knowing that that will reduce the number a little bit. So we'll maintain our two services. I like the idea. I think it's comfortable for you to jump in on 8 a.m. 8, 8 service and then you're out for 9.30 and then you have the remaining day. And for those of us who wake up late can come for 10 o'clock service, I have my very good friend and sister, Tokumbo, all the way from the United States of America. I didn't know you were in town. Good to see you. Good to see you, Tokumbo. We should hang out after service. She's a woman of God. Woman of God. There was a time I and Tokuo used to pray every day for about two months. Yeah. Every day. Every day. We used to pray every day. Every day. And there was a time where I had issues with my, with my wife. It was my girlfriend then. You remember that time? 
The Muslim, let's pray, let's pray. It's the devil. The devil's trying to confuse the marker. <laughs> That's how she talks. Let's pray, let's pray. The devil's trying to confuse the marker. Let's not agree. Let's pray, let's pray. And every day, Tukumbo is a woman of prayer. I'm telling you, every day she'll call me. Talks, man. I hope you're settling down here so that we just, that I know that I have one assistant pastor that I'm training. I'm serious. And there's a good man for you here. Trust me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. If you have your Bibles, let's go to Genesis chapter 1. Whew, first service was so deep. First service was so deep. So let me just say this ahead of time. This is <laughs> ahead of time. This is one of those messages that it may take you another two, three weeks to get it in its entirety and totality. Because I've discovered the trend from the last master's class that is like, you know, just catch up with me and move it. All right? But I'm praying that God will give you understanding in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for every mind and every heart receives Christ in this meeting in Jesus' name. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 28. If you found it, stand for the reading of the word of God. If you cannot find Genesis, come to Jesus. We need to pray with you. We need to pray. Genesis chapter 1. It's good to see the incredible music producer, Macro, Michael. Good to see you. Come on. I'm serious. The guy is something else. He's an incredible music producer. He belongs to a church in Abuja already or else I would have just said Amuja Abuja music director, take it in the name of Jesus. But he belongs to a church and we're not trying to steal sheep, but we grow green grass. We grow green grass and we put a very small door so it is good enough for tiny sheep to enter but once they feed, they can't go out. Yeah. So we don't steal sheep. We grow green grass. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 to 28. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. Verse 27. And so God created man. God created man in his own image in his own image in the image of god created he him male and female created he them so in one man there was male and female locked up in one man mm. <laughs> i told you it's gonna be deep i am the, the prop the, no problem the interesting thing about the service is moji i'm using familiar scriptures and so, but this is one time that you have to look at the familiar scriptures with a second look. Like, yeah. Uh, there's a guy here who was with me in Abuja. After preaching, he kept saying, Pastor, I was looking at my Bible. Did you edit my Bible? <laughs> you know, he was in church first service. So let's read again. So God created man, not men, man, in his own image, in the image of God created he, him. He now says male and female create he, them. We'll, we'll get there in a while. You've been reading it before. You didn't notice it. Why are you looking at me like that? It's in your Bible, right? Give me verse 28. And God blessed them and God said unto them, be fruitful. So when God was talking to Adam, he was talking to them. Because Eve was not created here. <laughs> I mean, it's the Bible. Adam, it's not my Bible. It's in your Bible. So when God blessed them, he was talking to Adam and Eve, the human race in Adam and said, be fruitful. The instruction was not to be seedful. The instruction was to be fruitful, not to be seedful. Ooh, and multiply and replenish the earth. And subdue, thank you, Holy Ghost, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. I'm starting the series today. We'll discuss it again on Wednesday with question and answers. And as the God class. So you look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor for me, you passed the paternity test. Come on. Come on. Just in case 
you're not sure who your father is I, I, I just want to let you know you pass the paternity test you are in the God class Woo! look at somebody and say you passed the paternity test and you are in the God class one more time tell your neighbor I may not drive a G class <laughs> but I'm in the God class <laughs> I may not fly business class <laughs> But I'm in the God class. <laughs> Send your anointing and makes teaching and preaching easy. Throw your weight in this building. Give me nimbleness of mind and I just thought give your people understanding as you give me utterance in Jesus much less name. And everybody said amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The beautiful thing about Genesis is Genesis introduces God to us as the creator that was not created. Just excited to see familiar faces like your face, like your face, even if your face mask, I know you. It's been a minute. Um, God is introduced to us as the God who is the creator that was not created. The thing about the creating power of God is when I think of a creator as a creative, if I said, if I say to you that Matokweda created this dress, what I'm saying is that she worked on it, her hands um, were involved in the construction of the dress. If I say, oh, creatives, yeah, this person created this thing, it means that the person got down and the hands were involved in the creation. So creatives are people who are good with their hands and maybe should I say their mind but the thing about God is that when God created he didn't touch he spoke yes 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 he didn't touch he spoke when when men create with yes yes you okay so when men create they touch but when God creates he doesn't touch he speaks when God Nanamando Kosh it's okay Seven, second service this usually is how first service feels his second service today <laughs> when god created he did he, he didn't touch he spoke it is important that he, when he stretched the earth out of the waters and covered the heavens with cloud it was with the words of his mouth when we like to create we like to touch and this is a word for somebody god is saying stop touching start speaking that's a word for somebody stop trying to manipulate stop trying to form it start speaking if you're going to work in the god class the creative tool is the word in your mouth can you imagine a more tired that when god stretched the earth out of the waters and covered the heavens like a cotton with cloud he did it with the words of his mouth when god created the agricultural space the trees the plants the forest he did it by the words of his mouth can you imagine if you will that when he created the animal planet the lions the tigers the dogs the cats the snakes monkeys he called them forth by the words of his mouth when he created the aquatic words sharks whales and dolphins he did that by the words of his mouth god spoke and the sun was on his right hand the moon to his left the stars clustered around his head and the earth was under his feet he spoke and eagles parrots lovebirds filled the sky then he stopped and looked and saw that the earth was hot and barren god spat out the seven seas from his mouth i'm gonna say that again god spat out the seven seas from his mouth he blinked and there was lightnings and he flashed and he snapped his fingers and thunders rolled out and the waters above the earth came down cooling waters from uh, from from the lord's mouth came down the earth he spoke his words and the green grass sprouted the little red flowers blossomed, and the pine tree pointed his fingers to the sky and the oak spread out his hands the lakes cuddled down the hollows of the ground and the rivers ran down the sea god smiled and there was rainbow and he called itself around his shoulders and god raised his armor and he waved his hand over the sea and over the land and God spoke his word. Bring forth, bring forth and quicker than God could drop his hand. Fishes and fowls, beasts and birds, swam the rivers of the sea, roam the forest of the woods, split the air with your wings. God said it was good. Everything God created, he created with the words of his mouth. John chapter 1, God speaking, he says, And the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. God. all things were made by the word of God and without him was anything
everything made that was made. But when he got to man, God said, let us make man. So God didn't create man. He made man. Because when he created, he spoke. But when he came to man, stop the ring, stop the ring. When he came to man, everything, everything about God was involved in the creation of man. And in the making of man. And the word made there is powerful. Because the word made travels down to Romans. When the Bible says, he made him who knew no sin to become sin. That we might be made. <laughs> the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus so there's the work work of God and the work of salvation and it's in made and the made there is talking clearly about clearly about the creation of man and this is the mystery why man why man Job asks this question David asks this question uh, why man why man why man but when God said let's make man in our image and likeness what was his agenda why did he make man this is the mystery of all times job asked in job chapter 7 verse 17 what is man that thou shouldest magnify him that thou shouldest set thy heart upon him uh, david asked in psalms chapter 8 verse 4 what is man that thou art mindful of him and the son of man that thou visitest him david asked again in psalm 114 verse 3 lord what is man that thou takest knowledge of him or the son of man that thou makest account of him the intention of God creating man from the beginning was to bring man into the God class yeah it was to bring man into the God class so God was the God of the earth Adam rather was the God of the earth God was the God and is the God of the heaven so God leads the earth to Adam and it was Adam who named creation Adam was in charge of the earth God leads it to them stop blaming God for everything that happens in the universe and in the world God leads it to man man is the problem not God my landlord is not in charge of what happens happens in my bedroom that is my responsibility because the house has been leased to me so i have to do the maintenance and the managing of my apartment that is his in the same way god who is god of the universe leased planet earth to man so man is responsible this is how adam was responsible adam was the one that named the animals so in genesis chapter 2 verse 29 and adam gave names to all cattle and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field but for adam there was not found any help made for him so adam named everything in genesis chapter 2 verse 20 can you imagine the lion came to adam and adam said you are lion and god said that is good and then the ants came adam says you are ant and god said that is good and some creature passed and god said he and adam said he popotamus god said really where did you get that from okay that's good and then elephant showed up which is the biggest of the animals and i i believe in the animation of my creative mind that when adam saw elephant and the hugest the biggest animal in the garden the only thing adam could relate to elephant was god so he said el el elion el elephant that means you are big <laughs> you are the biggest so he had he had to add l to elephant because l is god elohim you're about jumping out of your seat to sit down we we just sit down sit down brother we we we're not there we're just warming up <laughs> I saw him about to fly off his seat. So I just wanted to tell him to calm down. So when Adam saw elephant, he said, this is a Leon elephant. So he named them and there was nothing that Adam named that God said, I need to correct this. The reason I'm saying this is be careful what you name your situation because God agrees with the name that you... So if something happens in your life and you say, oh, oh, this is coronavirus, be careful. God may just say, yeah, you, you, you named it and I will okay it. So whatever you name the situation, God can okay. If you know, this, is, this, is just, this is just a bad year. A lot of people are, are experiencing the horrible season because in, in March, when the, when the breakout started, what you said with your mouth is this year is over. Guess what God says? Thou art snared by the words of your mouth. So be 
careful what you name your situation. God made my just agree with you because there was nothing that Adam named and God said, no, I don't think you should call this one antelope. You should call it antelopia. No, no, no. God said, oh, it was good. So Adam was supernatural. Adam was not mankind. Adam was God kind. How do you think Adam went to the heights of the heavens to name the eagle? He could fly into eternity and walk in time at the same time. How do you think Adam went to the depths of the sea to name all the creatures underneath the sea? How do you think? You think Adam was swimming, holding his breath like you and I? No, no, that's not what Adam did. Adam could navigate in the water easily and named everything in the depths of the sea and fly to the heights of the heaven and named all the bread. Adam was supernatural. Adam could visit heaven one minute and show up on the earth in the next second. He could navigate eternity and time like this. Adam was God kind. Adam was not mankind. Adam was in the God class. But when Adam sinned, he denatured himself. He denatured himself. That's what happened to Adam. The nature of Adam changed. I wish Adam gave birth to children before the sin because he would have proliferated God kind. But Adam did not give birth to children before sinning. It was after he sinned, the sin of disobedience, that he gave birth to children. So Adam gave birth to Adam kind, not God kind. And the sin is the sin of disobedience. It's not a fruit that Adam ate. Please. Moses wrote out of revelation. Moses wasn't sure of what he was saying in his entirety and totality. So the scriptures can only be explained by the epistles. So the epistles are the correct explanation of the scriptures. The scriptures are Moses and the prophet. Is this too deep? The scriptures are Moses and the prophet. So if you want to understand the scripture, you see from the epistles. So in the epistles, Paul is saying, by the sin of disobedience. So what Adam did in the garden was deliberate rebellion. He was not deceived. Eve was deceived. 1 Timothy 2 verse 14. And Adam was not deceived. Nobody deceived Adam. But the woman being deceived was in transgression. So Adam was Adam knew what he was doing. Eve did not know exactly what was happening. Adam knew what was, was doing. It was willful ignorance. It was deliberate rebellion that Adam did. Don't let anybody deceive. Adam knew exactly what was going on. He was deceived. It was Eve that was deceived. Not Adam. Two significant things happened when Adam made the mistakes. Mistake he made. In Genesis, he proliferated sin, not God. Genesis 5, verse 3. And Adam lived 130 years and begat a son and his own, watch this, he begat a son in his own likeness. Watch this word. Watch this word. This word likeness is important for us to deal with. We are dealing with image and likeness this morning. When God created Adam, Adam was created in the image and in the likeness of God. Adam falls and Adam gives birth to his children and the children are after the likeness and after his image. Stay with me. So Adam's children are, are, are after Adam's likeness and after his image and called his name Seth. Stay with me. One minute of not paying attention to this message, you may miss the point. It's a critical message. Trust me. This next thing that happened is that the God class was empty. Adam emptied the God class. So at this point, there was nobody in the God class because only Adam was in the God class. There was nobody in the God class at this point. Adam was not there. So the God class was empty. What did God say at the fall, Pastor Akachi? When God showed up and was dealing with the serpent that was behind the manipulation, what did God tell the serpent? Because this is what I am dealing with this morning. Stay with me. Genesis chapter 3. Verse 14 and 15. Genesis 3, verse 14 and 15. How did God respond when God showed up to the scene where Adam and Eve had happened? God and the Lord God said unto the serpent, acting as the devil here in the vision of Moses, because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shall thou go and the dust thou shalt, all, thou shalt eat all the days of thy life. Give me verse 15. 15 is where I'm going to. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Bible student, put on your revelation cap. Put on your cap. Put on your cap. It says, and I will put enmity between thee and the woman and between 
thy seed and her seed. Women don't have seed. Women have eggs. What was God talking about? The seed of the woman. 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 So God's response to this was, ah, Adam, you've done this, but don't worry, have a plan. The seed of the woman. Women don't have seed. Women have egg. So what is God saying? Because women cannot be seedful. Remember the commandment was to be fruitful and not seedful. God is saying the seed of the woman, the seed, the seed of the woman. Who is the seed of the woman? A virgin shall conceive. His name is Mary. Yes, <laughs> Who is the seed of the woman? A virgin. So God stepped out of eternity, wrapped himself into the womb of Mary, made Mary's womb his changing room, born by the zeal of God, because Mary was conceived without the seed of a man. So Mary was carrying the seed of the woman. Mary, that's the seed of the woman. The seed of the woman. <laughs> the seed of the woman. The seed of the woman. The seed of the woman. Luke chapter 1 verse 35. The seed of the woman. The seed of the woman. And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall, up, shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be upon, that, that shall be born of thee, shall be called the Son of God. Give me 38. Give me 38. Give me 38. Give me 38. 38. 38. 38. 38. 38. And Mary said, Behold thy handmaid. Watch this watch this of the lord be it unto me according to thy sperm according to thy seed according to the seed entered mary by our openness to say be it unto me by consent this is how the seed of the woman wrapped himself into the womb of the seed of the woman don't worry, it's not regular teaching it's for deep people is the seed of the woman entered immediately by be it unto me according to the, there was intercourse no sex the seed of the woman came into mary the seed of the woman and uh, the seed of the woman the seed, shall bruise your head the seed of the woman so the devil was confused in genesis well, how can you say seed of a woman women don't have seed but god is saying when i want to do something i do not need man to assist me in doing it i just need people whose womb of faith can be open and the seed of god can come into it God is saying, I don't need the assistance or the penetration of man. I don't need the erection or the arouser of man. All I need is ananaka. Yeah, I need my word to go into the womb of anybody whose faith is opened to receive the seed. The seed of the woman. The seed. John chapter 1 verse 14. And the word became flesh. The seed of the woman and dwelt among them. Timothy says, uh, it says, without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifested in the flesh. The seed of the woman became flesh. The seed of the woman. How does this seed affect us? Because in the seed is the DNA. The D is the DNA. If you want to know your real father, if you are in doubt, your DNA and his DNA will align. So there is something in his seed that has flowed to you. If we are here and my daughter is here and I said, if you are flourish, Peter, stand up. My daughter will stand up. Why? Because my seed proliferated her. So she is my seed and she has my name. If I say king, start stand up. Tokwe will stand up too because she is now married to king. She is no longer Abiola or Salami. She is now king in the same way. If any man be in Christ, the seed this seed has come inside of you. So right now you are in the God class. How do I know this? How do I know this? How do I know this? First Peter 1 verse 23. Being born again. Not of corruptible sperm. Not of corrupted the seed of the woman. The seed, but of the incorruptible. By the word of God. Which live it and abide it forever. How did Mary receive the seed? Be it unto me according to thy word. That is what activates the sperm. The the seed of God's word. How do I receive the seed of God's word? By believing in the word of God, believing in my heart, confessing with my mouth so I am born again by that incorruptible seed. What that means is now I am a son of God because the seed is moving and walking in me. This brings me to the God class. All men were born equal until some became born again. 
Bible, see Bible, they were careful my body, they move. All men were born equal until some became born again. When they became born, the seed of the woman entered them too. So it not, it's not only Mary that received the seed. I have the seed of the woman within me. Hey, Anam Hasha. So the most dangerous man in the world is a believer that knows that he's a believer. Because that one, the seed of the woman. The seed of the woman is, is living. It is because the seed of the woman is in you. That first John, the Bible says, as he is. Not like him. Oh. Like him and as him are not the same. As him is nature. Like him is character. You are behaving like that's character. As him is nature. You are not born from God. You are born of God. If I say he is like, I may be saying he's the China made or he's the Abba made. But if I say he is us, I am saying the seed of the woman, the same DNA that is in Jesus, was released to me at the point when I accepted him into my life as my savior. The seed of the woman. So I am not born from God. I am born of God. That is why I keep telling you that the most dangerous man is a believer that knows that is not a Christian by feeling form. No, a believer. No, what? Not, not. What religion are you? Christian. It's not to take the box. It's that a believer that now knows I am born of God. That means now Bible they work out for my body. The spirit of God entered my spirit at the point of salvation. The spirit of God entered my life at the spirit of salvation. The power of God injected me. My DNA changed. So what I carry is the seed of the woman. The seed of the woman. The seed of the woman. Christian is not just a title. It's a revelation that you are a believer. You are in the God class because you passed the paternity test and you are born of God, born of the sperm of God. Therefore, you are a son of God. Stop singing that foolish song. Jesus is not the only son of God. Ewo. Can, you know you're in the response of the song. Ewo. How can you be saying Jesus is the only son of God? Are you not a son of God? Why are you removing yourself from the family? Before the cross, he was the only son of God. After the cross, he lost that position and made all of us sons of God. You are a son of God. First John 3 verse 1. Let's see Bible. First John 3 verse 1. First John 3 verse 1. It says, Beloved, what manner of love the Father had bestowed upon us that we should be called what? Sons of God. So you are a son of God. A Mr. Son. You are the son. Son. Your father's name is Yahweh. You are the son of Yahweh. You are king. The greatest creation of God is the new creation. The zenith of the creation of God is not the rainbow. It is the new creation. Enana, Kayada. The biggest, the greatest creation of God is the new creation. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. The new creation is in the God class. If you are hearing me say, I hear you. creation is in the God class. The new creation is the new breed. The new creation is a summation of Jesus substitutionally sacrificed. He is exactly as Jesus. He said, the new creation is not a continuation of Adam. The new creation is not an upgraded version of Adam. The new creation is not a refurbishment of Adam. The new creation is a new breed. He has never lived before. The new creation has no past. The new creation has no history. The new creation has no ancestral spirit. The new creation has no family cause. The new creation is in the God class. New 
creations don't go for deliverance. New creation don't have familiar spirit. New creation don't have anything pursuing them. New creation don't have my father's side. New creation don't have my father's side or my mother's side. New creation has Jesus. 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 New creation doesn't look for deliverance. New creation is already delivered. He is not an upgraded version. He is not a renovation. He is not a refurbishment. He is a new species that has never lived before. I am in the God class. Don't worry. It will take some of you another one week. I gave you heads up to get what I'm saying. But I've decided I'm not going to play shallow with my church. No. I'm going to go deep. I'm going to follow me deep. No, no, no. I'm, I'm done playing shallow. No, whether you're in my class, I'm going to go deep. You are going to come deep with me. I'm, not, I'm tired of that lily liver, chicken hearted, cat feeted Christianity. No, no, no. We are going deep because this misplaced um, uh, identity has robbed us of our nature, of the manifestation of our nature, rather. First Corinthians 3, verse 22. Adam, see the scripture. Read it slowly. Don't read it in a hurry. It says, and ye are Christ. And Christ is God. So what does this mean? I am God. Period. I am in the God class. Shikena. Ye are Christ. And Christ is God. This is the New Testament declaration of ye are God. Ye are Christ. And Christ is God. When you are going for deliverance, who do they want to remove from your body? Christ. When you go for familiar spirit, who they pursue? Jesus. When you are going for the mountain to see what we, who are they taking to the mountain? Christ. Who do they want to drive out? Christ. You are Christ and Christ. Christ. So when they mention your name in the cover, what shows up? Christ. Because you are Christ. It's because you do not know that you are running to people. You are Christ. And Christ is God. You want to cast out Christ? Come out. Who is coming out? Christ. Your father's people. You don't have any. What you have is is God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because you are in Christ, your genealogy changed when you got born again. You are one step from the Godhead, God, Christ, and you are in Christ. End of discussion. Sorry if you are a first timer here. We don't do motivational speech here. We don't do religious things here. We teach Jesus. People here came from first service. They couldn't leave there. They are patching around for all the second service big boys and big girls that don't show up. Because they are hungry for Christ. Because when you preach Jesus, time just goes. Money loses value. Because Jesus is the center of it all. Let me show you another one. Ephesians 5 verse 30. Put it there. Alex, it says, for we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his blood. Hey, now, what do you remain again? Oh, why you want me to tell you? Sorry, international audience. How do you want me to tell you? What do you want me to say again? What do you want me to say to you again? Is it not clear in the scriptures? My Indian members, is it not very clear in the scriptures? That you are of the same body, of his flesh, and of his body, or his, of his bones. Everything that was not in Jesus' body, I command it to leave your body now. Everything that was not in Jesus' body, I command it to leave your body now. Everything that was not in Jesus' DNA, I command it to leave your body now. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet, fibroid, migraine, cancerous cell, everything in the fallopian womb or the fallopian tube, whatever they call it, in the name of Jesus. If it was not in Jesus' body, I command, I send you an eviction notice in the 
the name of Jesus somebody shout amen for we are members we do in body him there our body we are in his flesh he's in our flesh and we are in his bones I'm showing you Bible it's exegesis not insegesis I'm showing you Bible this is Bible I'm showing you Bible so the force of the believer is God the content of the believer is God the capacity of the believer is God the capability of the believer is God the familiar spirit of the believer is God the ancestral falling of the believer is God the future of the believer is God the movement of the believer is God God full stop second Peter 1 verse 4 I they do you they shook you up they pinch you I they do you he they work out for your body I've not gotten there just wait for me he says whereby we are giving whereby are giving unto us watch this watch this, exceeding great and precious promises watch this that by this ye might be partakers of the divine nature not the human nature the divine nature having escaped not escaping having escaped the corruption adam 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 having escaped corruption that is in the world through lust how did adam get into the problem eve lost lost of the eyes uh -huh. that's what he's saying uh, I, I, am i preaching good I, am i preaching good so we what do you have you have the divine nature you don't have the adamic nature you have the divine nature you are partakers of the divine nature the god class believer is not a living soul every living soul every living soul friends every living soul every living soul Every living soul. You know, if you are a living soul, if, are, if I catch logic sound, sing that song here. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Let me talk Bible. Let's talk Bible. Genesis 2, verse 7. Are you, are you booting? It says, And the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And he, man became a living soul. That's where they got that song from. It's madness. First Corinthians 15 verse 45 so it is written the first man Adam was made a living soul the last Adam was made a quickening a, 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 a quickening a quickening a quickening you are not a living soul you are a quickening spirit you are a life giving spirit I they do you they shook you I they paint you and my brother brother take it easy Ain't no more. Sure. So when you show up in a place, spirit, na spirit, you are a living, quickening spirit. I decree to you, and the Bible says in Romans, if that same spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in your mortal body, it shall quicken. It shall quicken your mortal. It shall. So what you have is a quickening spirit. Shout yes. I decree everything that is dead is coming back to life. And everywhere you move in the month of January, next year, October, November, this whole month of September, you're coming into life. It's abundant life. As you move from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, as you move around, everything that is dead comes back to life. When you show up, if you was dying, it bounces back to life. Because what you carry is the quickening spirit. You can't have the virus. Because what you carry is the quickening spirit. If they come around you, what you have is power powerful enough to dissolve and destroy it because what you have is the quickening spirit i don't know who i came to preach to this sunday morning god sent me to tell you everything that is dead is coming back to life because you have a quickening spirit if that is your word throw your hands up and shout thank you jesus <laughs> sit down if you can
Let's go deep now. We've been playing. Let's go deep. I was already hazards. We've been playing. Let's go deep now. So the epistles or motayo are the explanation of the scriptures. So you cannot read the scriptures and understand the scriptures except through the lenses of the epistles. On Jesus' way from Emmaus, he saw two men. I think it's Luke 20, verse 47 or 45. Two men, and they were talking about Jesus. And Jesus, the Bible says, he began from Moses to the prophet, explaining to them what the scripture says about him. So at that time, Romans was not written. So Romans is not the scripture. The scripture is the prophets and Moses. The law and Moses. That's the scripture. So Jesus was saying, he was explaining that the scriptures testify of him. Jesus speaking another time. He says, you read the scriptures. He didn't say you read the epistles. He says you read the scriptures because you think in them you have eternal life. He now says, I am he who the scriptures testify of. That means when you saw blood on top of Moses' house in that time, I am the blood that they were trying to say. When you saw the serpent on the cross, it was me that they were trying to say. When you saw something in between two pillars, it was Jesus dying on the cross, destroying the law and the prophet. When you see Moses and the rock, that rock was Christ. So the scriptures has no understanding. It is the epistles that accurately explain the scriptures. Thank you. He understood the... I did a one-hour class just now in two minutes. A one-hour class. I compressed it and gave it to you in two minutes. Genesis 1, verse 26 to 28. Let's see. And God said, Let us make man in our image after our likeness. Who was God talking to in Genesis 1 verse 26? Let us interrogate it. Was he talking about Adam? No. So who is the image and who is the likeness? Second Corinthians 4 verse 4. Let us see scriptures. God punished the devil and his mother. In, in whom the God of this world... Adam had blinded the minds of them which believe not lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ Christ who is the Christ who is the and should shine upon them so when God was saying let us make man in my image and in my likeness who is the image of God Jesus is the image of God so when God was saying, let us make man, he was saying, let's make the believer. Let's make the believer. Let's make the Christocentric, Bible aware believer. Colossians 1, verse 15. Jesus is the image. Enana, let us make man in our image and in our likeness. Enana, Kayado. Jesus is the Enana Koyata. I told you it will take you one week to get it, but it's fine. Ekulu, your spirit knows it. Your mind will catch up after one week, no problem. Who is the image of the invisible, the firstborn of every new creation? So, who is the image of God? Come on, talk to me now. Who is the image of God? One more time. Who is the image and the likeness of God? So if you are in Christ, who are you? You are the... You are in the God class. This is not for kindergarten. Hebrews 1 verse 3. Who being the brightness of his glory, the express image of his person, who is the image of God? Jesus. So when God was saying, let us make man in our image, 
Who is that image? God wants to let us make Christ. 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 And if you are in Christ, you are in the God class. So, Ananakoto, that's the prototokos. And that's why it says he's the firstborn of new creation. Yeah. He's the prototokos. Yes. He was sent forth so that I can come as he is. So, who was God trying to make in general? Flourish in Christ. Christ. This brings you into the God class. I can say still putting. You, you are in the God class. God class. God, God class. Adam did not have to struggle for anything. Everything was prepared for Adam in the God class. In the God class. Oh, na 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 koshata. So Adam never woke up one morning and said, ah, I am hungry, Lord. Watch, he was in the God class. In the God class, everything is prepared. It's, it's prepared. We're thinking of traveling briefly just so that I can get maybe five days leave. And we're thinking, and we saw business class. And my wife said, you know, the, pro, the, the interesting thing about business class is that when there's a transit, guess what? That you don't have to struggle to find where to stay. The airline provides accommodation for you because you are in the business class. All men were born equal until some became born again. So once you are born again, things are a nana, koyatas. Things are prepared for you. I don't know who you are. The revelation of God class. You move on Monday and you begin to walk into things that are already reserved for you. Adam, what I mean to say is that the contract will be waiting for you. Uh, the things will be tied up for you. The opportunities will be waiting because you are in the God class. In the God class, we don't suffer. We don't struggle. We just take. We receive it because we are in the God class. I don't know who this word is for. You are coming into the revelation and the manifestation of the God class. Everything that you need is already provided. God is just waiting for you to step into it look at your neighbor tell them i'm in the god class shadaba god class god class god class knowing that god when he created he didn't touch he spoke so what do you do in the god class you keep speaking the righteousness of faith speak it how does the God class work? What do you say? Thou shalt also decree a thing and it shall be established. So I decree. So it was people like me. I don't sing demons tremble at his presence. No, that's an insult. Demons tremble at my presence. What a mighty class I am in. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Everything written about me is great. What is written about me? The lines are falling onto me on pleasant places. I have a goodly heritage. In the name of Jesus, I do not have a better yesterday. The part of the job he shined brighter and brighter until the perfect day so what is written about me a thousand shall fall at my side ten thousand at my right hand it will not come near me what is written about me blessed be God the father of our Lord Jesus Christ who has blessed me with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places I am in the God class so when i walk into the room all of heaven's entourage walks in because god has walked into the place in him i live in him i move in him i have my bill i am in the god class things doors are opening for me why because i'm in the god class there is therefore now no condemnation why i'm in the god class things are turning around for me why i'm in the god class all things work together for my good why i'm in the god class everywhere i look blessings 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 why i am in the god class if this is your word shout i am in the god class god class god class god class god class I may not drive a G class, but I'm in the God class. May not fly business class, but I'm in the God class. In the place where I'm in the God class, all things are working together for my good. Demons tremble before me. Angels are on me at the sound of the word of God that comes out from my mouth. When I speak, demons tremble. When I speak, diseases have to leave. Why? I am in the God class. I move in the revelation of in the God class. Even the lions could not attack Adam when he was in the God class. 
Because Adam was God on earth. They couldn't differentiate Adam from God. It was after he denatured himself by disobedience, he started devising means to protect himself from the lion. Because he's in the God class. What do you think happened to Daniel when they threw him in the lion's den? The God class was present. Lion saw that Adamic ogre and went back. He saw the real man that was he saw because the fourth man was there. What happened when they threw Meshach, Shadrach, Meshach, and the bad Negro in the fire? They saw one man amongst them who is like the son of the seed of the woman. Showed up. The seed of the woman. So throw me in the lion's den. I'll just go there as the God class. Lion will remember Adam and say, This guy is even a better version, he's a different species. Adam was the fake. This is the real one. He will behave himself. In the God class. You are in the God class. God class people don't run from demons. Demons run from you. God, you know, you don't run from demons. Demons run from you. God class people don't struggle. Money just comes to them. Because everything has been provided freely, given to them. Hebrews chapter 2, 6 to 8. Let's close. God class. God class. God class. This is so good. This is so good. This is so good. It says, it says concerning. It says, but one in a certain place testified saying, what is man that thou art mindful of him? Or the son of man that thou visitest him? Give me verse 7. But thou madest him a little lower than angels he was talking about adam here he's talking about adam here stay with me i want to show you something adam thou crownest him with glory and honor and this set him over the works of thy hands give me verse 8 keep it there for me thou hast put all things watch this in subjection under his feet adam he was in charge for he, for in that he put all in subjection under him. Watch this. He left nothing that is not put under him. Full stop. Hold it. Then Adam fell. After the fall, what did the scripture say? But now we see not yet all things put under him. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Yeah. So somebody shake the head. You, one scripture is talking about the before the fall and after the fall. He says all things. See it now. He left nothing that is not put under him. Full stop. He continued. He said, but. But means forget all these things. Now we see not yet all things put under him. That means he dropped the ball and things were taken from him. Give me verse 9. But we see Jesus. But we see Jesus. Who was made a little bit lower? Why was he made a little bit lower? Angels don't die. So they brought him to humanity so that he can die for us. That's the meaning of that little bit lower than angels. Angels for the suffering of death. Crowned with glory and honor. That by the grace of God should taste death for every man. So Jesus went. He took your death. And he's crowned with glory. And then brought you into the beloved. And said now I died your, de your death. Now that you might live my life. And if any man be in this Christ. You have come to the place where glory and honor are bestowed on you. All things are yours. But we see Jesus. That is not Adam. See, we are seeing Jesus. So what the intention of God in Genesis chapter 1 was Jesus. Because he is the image of God. He is the express image of God. I want us to pray this morning. In the God class, I want you to begin to speak everything that I do not want to see because God gave Adam it's too deep right it's too deep right it's too deep okay we'll, we'll water it down again on Wednesday but I'll keep going deep watch this the God class is a buffet setting you can decide to take one strand of noodles and say ah, I'm watching my weights before God thank you 
the God class, nobody serves you. You serve yourself. Some of you, you have allowed men serve you because, guess what? You think you are not in the God class. All of you like me have house helps and even stewards in your house or house managers. There's one I'm thinking of adopting because she's so good. Fantastic. The day I bring the lady to my table to eat with me and my friends, you will see the difference. She'll be eating carefully because her mindset hasn't caught up that her status has changed. Woo! Some of you have been eating on the table with Jesus, just afraid. And God sent me to tell you this morning, your status is not going to change. <laughs> what you do is not going to change your status. Your, your status is never going to change. Mephibosheth thought he was out of status. He was on the floor in Lodeba crawling he came to David this is a born prince he didn't know he was telling David why are you looking at the dead dog as I am David pulled him up put him on the table and said you are meant to be at the table eat continually because though you broke your leg and messed up your life your status did not change you're still in the God class in the God class there's no eviction from the big brother house it's no eviction because he took our strikes and took took our misbehaviors in the in the god house everybody is the winner for every time somebody has to go the big brother shows up and say you know what i'm going on this person keep him in the house for thou preparest the table before me in the presence of my enemies and we are seated in christ in heavenly places far above like adam could navigate the heavens and the earth we are seated in heavens and we are right here on earth the real deal is the believer in Christ Jesus, not Adam formed out of dust. I want us to pray. And the prayer point this morning is everything. I can understand if you, if you do not pray this prayer. I get you. But I want to pray with some people who you are tired of seeing certain things in man class. No, 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 no. There's somebody, like, yeah, I'm a coach. You know what just happened? I see you in the flight. You just checked your seat number. You're sitting on the wrong seat. You are in the business class, but you have been managing in the economy wing end. And something just happened. What happened in this service is that your ticket just showed up and woo, I'm in the God class. In the God class, you don't have to sit struggling. You just rest. You, you relax because all men were born equal until some became born again they entered God class <laughs> they entered God class and I want you to pray everything in the God class I activated everything that is not in the God class in my life get out get out you have two minutes to pray this prayer everything that is not in the God class get out Get out, get out. Get out of my life. Make up. But we see Jesus. You are in the God class. 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 Media, give me first John chapter 5, verse 4. You are in the God class. Everything that is not in the God class, get out. There is deliverance in the God class. There is prosperity in the God class. Power is in the God class. Grace is available in the God class. God class, God class. Hey, the bobo, shut up. Come on, open up your mouth. Come on, open up your mouth. The devil is a liar. Also, is mouth. Come on, open up your mouth. In the name of Jesus, open up your mouth. You are in the God class, the God class. You are in the God class, the God class. Oh, open up your mouth. I refuse anything that is not in the God class. Get out of my life. You are in the God class. Jesus. Woo. See, 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 see. See this scripture. We want to pray with this scripture. It says whatsoever. Oh, whatsoever. That means you and your stuff. Uh-huh. You and your stuff. Anama kosha, they go denemeres this. 
Hey, you and your stuff. What I'm saying is the brother, if they take your strands of hair and your, your wristwatch or your khakis, if they try to do something with it, is whatsoever. Is with is you and your stuff. It is born of God. Overcome the world. The world. And this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. You are born of God. You are an overcomer. You are going to win. You are Ananamoko Shataba. That's a word for somebody. You are going to win. I speak to the military guy over there as they send you to strange places and tough places. You are going to win. You are going to overcome. I don't know who this word is for. You are facing a turbulent storm. It's, it's really stormy right now. God wants me to tell you, you are born of God and you are going to win. I am an overcomer. I am I'm born of God. Can you pray that prayer for the next one minute before we close? I am of an overcomer and I am born of God. MVP, where are you? Come on, pray that prayer. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Born of God. Born of God. Oh, you are born of God. Come on. Born of God. You are not born from God. You are born of God. The very DNA of God inside of you. Every harassment at night has stopped. You are born of God. It stops today in the name of Jesus. No longer will you be harassed by demons. No, 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 no. You are not on the same class. You are born of God. If you're worship, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, I feel something. You're born of God. Hey, Namanto. Next time you hear family meeting, I'm not saying do not go. Go knowing that I am born of God. Next time you visit your mother's house or your father's house, go knowing that you are born of God. So when you enter, you tell the devil, I'm born of God. Nothing in this house affects me. Because the God class does not have generational causes. No, you are in the God class. For the familiar what? You are in the God class. In the God class. You are born of God. There's a word for someone. There's a sister here. Next time your mom calls you, more tired. Next time family member, just I am born of God. Mommy, what happened to your sisters, your friends, your aunties? It cannot happen to me. My case is different. I'm born of God. You can die like your siblings, your phobias, your uncles. Why? You are born of God. Greater is Jesus. I'm prophesying to the leaves inside of you. You are born of God. Your days of weeping are over. You are born of God. The weeping men do for a night. Joy comes in the morning. You are born of God. You are going to overcome. You are born of God. It's in your DNA. You are born of God. Oh, Head of cobra. You are not going to lose. You are born of God. You're not going to lose your born of God. You're not going to lose your born of God. Your born of God. Your case is different. You're born of God. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. If I were you, I'll just pray in tongues. There's something in this room is really heavy. Sandra, your case is different. You're born of God. You're born of God. You will settle and have your children. You would live long in good home with your family. You are born of God. I address everything contending with your life. Hear me, devil. The logic church, the logic nation. We are born of God. Watching online, you are born of God. You are overcomer because you are born of God. Today, 
to come but the enemy has done his worst God is about to do his best that's what God said to tell you the enemy has done his worst God is about to do his best God is about to do his best God is about God is going to heal your pain the mother's pain her tears God is saying I'm bringing joy for when God heals your scars it becomes beautiful you are born of God Alex what killed your father killed your brother cannot kill you Alex you are born of God oh. come on won't we in a mess something is in this room 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 I tell you to plug into it something is in this room something is in this room I feel power Power is in this room. Ele baba ba shoto po. Ele beke de breke te po koto po koto po leke de behe to so. Olu chini doors are opening. You are Mike and the doors are opening. You are born of God. Ezo po koto ba. Ena na 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 shoto pa katala. Ezo po roto to to to. There's something in this room. Ele baba shi. Ele baba kato shi. Either from the crown of your head, everything moving in your body dies now. You are born of God. You are in the God class. Don't just watch. Log into this moment. The anointing of the Lord is in this room. Your days of struggling are over. everywhere oh hey call the bus you are born of god lift your hands lift your hands hey come by like devil coach you were in the god class you were in the god class You are in the God class. You are in the God class. You are in the God class. Come on. Somebody press in. You are in the God class. You are never going to be pound. Not another day of your life. You are never going to be pound. Not another day of your life. You are in the God class. You are in the God class. Hey, Rama. You are in the God class. You are in the God class. You will carry your baby. You will settle down. You are in the God class. Oh, restoration is now. You are in the God class. Oh. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Uh. Anamash, your days of struggling are over. No, 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 no. It's over. Emmanuel is over. Akache is over. The days of struggling are over. Uh, Yahweh is over. It's over. You are in the God class. All things are yours. Take it. I'm hoping I have someone in this room who can take, take what is in the God class. Can you take everything in the na 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 shoto? Everything in the God class. Can you take it? Can you take it? Uh, you take what is in the God class. Is in the God class. Therefore, we come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain. Uh, take what is in the God class. Can you open up your mouth and just take what's in the God class? In the God class, on God, on God is is the God class move. Is the God class move? When men are cast down, down thou shall say there is a lifting up. Is the God class move? Is the God class move? When doors are closing to people, your doors are opening up. Is the God class move? Is the God class move?
Let's drive it. Things are possible for you. You are in the God class. Amen. If you're worshiping with us for the first time, please, can you wave your hands quickly? We just want to pass a card to you briefly. Come on, can we clap for them?